Hey everyone, it's Fred here from Helium's Bricks and welcome to this video. Today we are the 1st of September 2022, which actually means there's been a price increase in the UK and Europe. Yes, we kind of anticipated this was coming, so we knew that uh, the Americas, well Canada, America, Australia all had price increases 1st of August, now it's our turn. And uh, yeah, I've kind of done my analysis based on all the sets that I usually track. There's about over 700 sets that I track every month for all my analysis that I do for my Patreon members. So RRP is an important measure for us, so we need to make sure we update that. We've done the analysis on the sets we track, and we've got around 130 sets that we've seen some price changes on. So this video is going to be going through them all now. I want to say that we have identified we had some issues with the old um, euro prices. So... Uh, we don't necessarily always have the percentage right in terms of when the old price is right, but what anything has done is this exercise has actually made sure that we now have the right RRP prices going forward for Euro. So for the UK, we're pretty confident with our uh, pricing of RRP. So yeah, here we go. Right, let's get started. And we start with the LEGO City Set 60348, the Lunar Rover ve Roving Vehicle. Had an increase of 20% in the UK and only 16% in the EU. Next, we've got the police mobile co mobile command truck, only increase in the UK, uh, 14%. Then we go over the mo to the mobile crane, again, just a UK increase of about five pounds to four, uh, 14%. Then we've got the space ride amusement truck, that increased both in the UK and the EU. In the EU, increased by 12.5%, in the UK, just over 14%. Then we've got the smashing chimpanzee stunt loop, uh, increased by five pounds in the UK is the equivalent of 11%. Then we've got the police station uh, 60316. This increased in the UK by 9% and in the Europe by 8%. Then we've got the passenger train, which was, I was surprised by, increased by 6.67% in the EU and 7% in the UK. Next, we've got the wildlife rescue operation just in the UK, increased by five pounds or 6.67%. Then we've got the Rocket Launch Center, which increased by £5, which is just 4% increase. And then we've got the Double Loop Stunt Arena, um, the last city set that increased by 7% in the EU and 4% in the UK. Next we move over to some classic bricks. We've got the classic uh, creative transparent bricks. Uh, these increased by 16.6% in the EU and 20% in the UK, where well, it's just a fiver. Next, we've got bricks and functions. This also a similar increase of five euros in Europe and five pounds in the UK. Then uh, I'm not sure if I got the base right here for Europe. I showed that I had it at 100 euros, but that might be wrong. But now it's 130 euros, uh, and in the UK this increased to 115 pounds, uh, which is almost 10 percent. This is interesting because this one increased not that long ago as well. So increase on an increase. Next, we've got DC um, Batmobile Tumblr. This increased by 17% in the EU and 15% in the UK. Then we're moving over to Disney, um, which is quite ridiculous, really, considering that Disney is already quite expensive, but hey-ho. Next, we're going to start with the Zerg Battle. This increased in the EU by 16% and in the UK by 20%. Then we've got Bell and the Beast Castle. This increased by 25% in the EU and 20% in the UK. Next one we've got Ariel's Underwater Palace. This only increased in the UK by my tracking uh, by 20%. Uh, next we've got Cinderella and Prince Charming's Castle. This increased by 13% in the EU and 15% in the UK. Then we've got Anna's and Elsa's Frozen Wonderland. Increase of 12.5% in the EU and 14% in the UK. Then we've got Jasmine and Mulan's Adventure increase of 14% in the UK. Next we've got the Mini Disney Castle uh, increase of 14% in EU and just under 13% in the UK. Uh, then we've got Rapunzel's Tower which I already thought was way overpriced increased by 8% in the EU and 9% in the UK. Then we've got Aurora, Merida and Tiana's Enchanted Creations. Uh, increased uh, by 8% in EU and 9% in the UK. Then we've got the Ice Castle. Uh, this increased by 4% in the EU and just 3% in the UK. Uh, next we've got one of the new ones that didn't, didn't increase in the UK but did increase by 5 euros in uh, in Europe. Maybe had it tracked wrong but that seems quite strange. 14% increase if that's right but that might be a mistake on my part. So 
Next, we've got a dot set, and yes, we have a dot set that increased. It's eight percent increase in the EU and nine percent in the UK. Then we've got uh, Duplo, and I don't tend to track many Duplo. I only tend to track Duplo when it's like Disney related. And this, this so there might be more Duplo sets uh, that have increased. This is sixteen percent increase in the EU and twenty percent in the UK. Uh, next, we've got the Organic Farm from Friends increased by seventeen and a half percent in the EU, twenty percent in the UK. Uh, next, we've got Stephanie's Sailing Adventure. This increased by five pounds, uh, five euros is twelve and a half percent, and also five pounds in the UK, which is fourteen uh, percent. Next, we've got the Pet uh, Daycare Center that increased in the EU by eight point three three percent, and in the UK by nine point zero nine percent. And then we've got the last friend set, which is the Main Street Building, uh, increased by ten euros, to, uh, which is equivalent of six point six seven percent or £10 as well in the UK and an equivalent of 7.69% increase. Now we move over to Harry Potter and we've got the Hogwarts icons uh, 76391 increase of 20% in the EU and 18% in the UK. These were still on sale in Smiths and I managed to get some at a discount after seeing this sort of increase. Next we've got another Harry Potter set which is for Privet Drive increased by 14% in the EU and 16% in the UK which is quite surprising because this one's been discounted a lot. Then we've got Hogsmeade Village uh, Visit increase of 12.5% in the EU and 14% in the UK. Next we've got 76402 a relatively new set as well Hogwarts Dumbledore's Office increased again by 12.5% in the EU and 14% in the UK. We move on to uh, a big one, Diagon Alley increased by 50 euros um, or 12.5 percent and uh, 40 pounds in the UK which is equivalent of 11.4 percent. Then we've got Hogwarts Castle, another big set, again another big increase of 12 percent in the EU and just under 11 percent in the UK. Then we've got, uh, oh it's loading, yeah, Hogwarts Magical Trunk increase of 8.33 percent in the EU and 9 percent in the UK. Moving on, we've got Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets, uh, increase of 7% in the EU and 4% in the UK, just increased by a fiver basically. Next we've got Hogwarts Clock Tower, this only increased in the EU by 11%, uh, no change in the UK. Then we've got to uh, move on to icons and we've got the Friends Apartment, increased by 12.5% in the EU, uh, but quite a substantial increase in the UK of 23%. Um, so basically, thirty pound increase on the set. Moving on to the flower bouquet, always discount as well. The set it's nine percent increase in the EU and a twenty two percent increase in the UK. Then we got the Ford Mustang, which I'm surprised is still hanging around. Uh, increased by twenty one percent in the EU and twenty percent in the UK. Then we've got the Porsche nine eleven, similar price increase, twenty one percent in the EU and twenty percent in the UK. Got Ghostbusters Ecto One. Surprised that this one's still getting increased and hanging around. Now, I'm not sure about the base price in the U in the EU, but I think it was a 20% increase in the EU and a 20% increase in the UK. Then we've got the Haunted House, uh, quite a big increase again of 20% or 50 euros, and 40% inc 40 pound increase in the UK or just un just above 18%. Then we've got uh, Lego IDs Home Alone. Uh, I realised that. I've uh, misclassified this as an icons, it should be an IDs, but again, 50 euro increase or 20% in the EU and a 40 pound increase in the UK or 18%. Then we've got the boutique hotel, um, this increased by 15% uh, in the EU and 14% in the UK. Go back to the future, the DeLorean, uh, increase of 17.6% uh, in the EU and 13.33% in the UK. Uh, Assembly Square, which only had an increase in the UK in January, got another increase of 15% in the EU and another increase of 13% in the UK. Then we've got uh, Santa's Visit, increased by 11% uh, in the EU and 12.5% in the UK. Uh, then we've got the Real Madrid uh, Santiago Bernabeu Stadium, 14% increase in the EU and 11% in the UK. Colosseum is also increased by 10% in the EU and just under 8% in the UK. Then we've got uh, Optimus Prime, just under 6% increase in the EU and 6% increase in the UK. 
Uh, the Lego Titanic increase, but hardly ever available. Increase of 8% in the EU and 6% in the UK. Then we've got another modular building, the police station, increased by 11% in the EU and 6% in the UK. Um, NASA Space Shuttle Discovery increase again, similar rises in the UK and the EU. Then we've got another one, the Bookshop Modular Building, again 11% in the EU and 6% in the UK. Then we're moving on to some ID sets, the Medieval Blacksmith, a uh, quite popular set, increased by 12.5% in the EU and 23% in the UK, so it's quite substantial. Then we've got the Treehouse, increased by 25% in the EU and uh, tw just under 23% in the UK. Then we've got the Typewriter, again an increase of 25% in the EU and 23% in the UK. Moving over to Sonic the Hedgehog, again it's got a small increase, 14 14% in the EU and 16% in the UK. And then also the Fender Stratocaster increased by 20% in the EU and 16% in the UK. Next we got the LEGO ID set, uh, the Globe 21332, increase of 15% in the EU and 14% in the UK. Followed by the Grand Piano which had an increase of 50 euros of 14% in the EU and 11% in the UK. Then we've got some Jurassic World sets. The first one is the Blue and Beta Velociraptor Capture, only increased in the UK by 20%. Uh, next is the Triceratops Pickup Truck Ambush, again just in the UK, an increase of 12.5%. Then we've got uh, another one, I'm not going to try and pronounce it, but it's set number 76951, increase again by 12.5% in the UK. Then we got the T-Rex and Atrociraptor Dinosaur Breakout. Again, just in the UK, 12.5% increase. Followed by the Giganotosaurus and whatever its name is. Uh, increase both in the UK and the EU. And the EU has got an increase of over 7% in the UK, 4%. Moving on to Marvel. First of all, we got the Goat Boat, increased by 20% in the EU and 22% in the UK. Then we've got the Iron Man figure, uh, increase of 12.5% in the EU and 14% in the UK. Then we've got the Infinity Gauntlet, um, increase of 28% in the EU and 14% in the UK. Next we've got Daily Bugle, a big increase, um, increased by 50 euros or 16.67% in the EU and about 35 pounds in the UK or 13%. Then we've got the Guardian ship, this increased by 6% in the EU or 7% in the UK. Then we got Tony Stark's Sakarian Iron Man, 16% uh, uh, increase in the EU, uh, no increase in the UK. Uh, and then we've got the Iron Man Iron Monger, again this uh, increase of um, 5 euros in the EU. Move on to Minecraft, we've got the Rabbit Ranch, increase of 16.5% in the EU and 20% in the UK. Then we've got the training grounds, increase of 8% in EU or 9% in the UK. Then we've got a minion set, which is the minion pilot and training. This increase in the EU uh, from €29.99 Euros to €34.99, no increase in the UK. Then we've got miscellaneous or the Lego Iconic chess set. This increased by 18% in the EU and 20% uh, in the UK. Next, we got some Monkey Kid sets. Uh, first one is the Monkey Kid uh, staff creations, only increased in the UK by 20%. Then we've got the Evil Macaques Mech, uh, increased uh, by 9% in the e in the UK. We've got the Heavenly Realms, um, this increased in the EU by uh, just under 6% and just over 6% in the UK. Then we've got the City of Lanterns, a set I like a lot, increased by 7% in the EU, or just £5 in the UK, or just 4%. Moving on to Ninjago, first we've got the Ninjago Ultra Combo Mech, uh, this had an increase in the UK of 20%. Uh, 71773 Kai's Golden uh, Dragon Raider, increased by 17% in the EU, or 20% in the UK. Uh, then we've got the Water Dragon, uh, increased by 14% in the EU, or 16% in the UK. We've got the Ninjago Dragon Temple, increased by 12.5% in the EU and 14% in the UK. Then we've got Ninjago City Guard as a big lovely set, 16.67% increase in the EU and 13% in the UK. we got Zane's Titan Mech Battle, increased by 8% in the EU and 9% in the UK. Uh, Lloyd's Leg Legendary Dragon, increased again by 8% in the EU and 9% in the UK. Next one is the same. Crystal King, 8% in the EU, 9% in the UK. 
Then we've got Nia Samurai X Mech, increase of 9% in the EU and 5% in the UK. Moving on to Hydro Bounty, uh, increased um, by 7% in the EU and 4% in the UK, so just a fiver. And then uh, last uh, Ninjago one again increased uh, by 7% in the EU and 4% in the UK. The next set we're looking at is uh, F Horizon Forbidden West, a tall neck, an increase of 12.5% in the EU and 14% in the UK. Then we've got some seasonal sets. We've got the Santa Sleigh, increase in the UK by £5 or 14%. Uh, then we've got another Christmas set, the, the Wreath in 2 and 1, again. Uh, just under 13% increase. Moving on to speed champions, we got the Mercedes one, uh, the dual pack, a 14% increase in the UK. Uh, then we've got the Aston Martin one uh, that increased by 12.5% in the EU and 14% in the UK. Then we've got the Lamborghini Countach um, uh, that increased by 25% in the EU and 11% in the UK. Uh, they're pretty much all the same. The new, the new ones. Um, we've got the Ferrari 1970 512M again, 25% in the EU and 11% in the UK. I seem to have forgotten the Lotus, but that has also increased by 25% and 11% in the UK. Moving on to Star Wars, first one is 75324, which is a Dart Trooper attack, increased by 16.67% in the EU and 20% in the UK. Then we've got R2-D2, quite a substantial increase this, 20% uh, in the EU and 20% in the UK. Uh, next we've got a UCS1, Luke, Land, Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder, 20% uh, in the EU and 20% in the UK again. Um, next one is actually Darth Vader helmet, didn't show properly, but it's this one here. Um, in the EU, increase of 14% and in the UK, increase of 16%. Uh, then we've got the Imperial TIE Fighter, small increase, but again, 12.5% in the EU and 14% in um, the UK. Then we've got the Republic uh, Fighter Tank, uh, which is quite a new set as well, 12.5% in the EU and 14% in the UK. Seems like a lot of these sets have similar increases now. We next we move over to the Charles or Grogu, 12.5% in the EU, 14% in the UK. Next is another one of the diorama sets, uh, the Jedi training one, 12.5% in the EU and 14% in the UK. Moving over to the Republic gunships, so one of the big UCS ones, 14% in the EU or 50 euros and 11% um, in the UK. And then another big one, most likely Cantina, uh, increased to 14% in the EU and 11% in the UK. Got the Mandalorian helmet, uh, increased by 16% in the EU and 9% in the UK. Mandalorian Starfighter, 8% increase in the EU and 9% in the UK. Then we've got Luke Skywalker's uh, Red 5 helmet, 16% in the EU and 9% in the UK. Dark Trooper helmet, so these are all seem to be increasing, 16% in the EU and 9% in the UK. And then we've got another diorama, the Death Star Trench Run. Again, an increase of 16% in the EU and 9% in the UK. Right, now we've got uh, another big, well, it's not the big one, but 75257. This is this is one of the Millennium Falcons that's been around for ages. 6% in the EU and 7% in the UK. Then we've got the AT-80, the small one. Again, an increase of 6% in the EU and 7% in the UK. Now we move over to some UCS ones, so the Millennium Falcon has been around forever as well. 6% in the EU and 5% in the UK. Then we got another UCS one, the AT-80, again 6% in the EU and 5% in the UK. And I think the final Star Wars set is the Razor Crest, increase of 7% in the EU and just under 5% in the UK. Move over to some uh, Super Mario. We got the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System, 17% in the EU and 15% in the UK. Then we got the question mark block. Uh, again, in the EU, 17% and 13% in the UK. Then we got one final Super Mario set, which is the Spice Cloud Top uh, Challenge Expansion set. No increase in the EU, but uh, a five pound increase in the UK, which equates to about 9%. Now we move over to Technic, which is the last theme we'll be covering. We've got, first of all, the all-terrain vehicle. This is 20% increase in the EU and a 23% increase in the UK. Next, we've got the BMW uh, M1000 RR motorbike. Um, 
hefty increase of 25% in the EU and 22.86% in the UK. Then we've got the Porsche 911 RSR, it's been around for a while this set. Again, 25% increase in the EU and 21% in the UK. Then we've got Dom's Dodge Charger, 20% uh, increase in the EU and 16.67% in the UK. Next we've got one of the fairly new ones, the App Control Transformation Vehicle, 15% increase in the EU and 13% in the UK. Lamborghini Sion, 12.5% um, increase in the EU and 11.4% in the UK. One of the fairly new ones again, Ferrari Daytona SP3, 12.5% increase in the EU and 11.43% in the UK. Then we've got the Ducati Panigale V4R, 16.67% increase in the EU, just 9% in the UK. Heavy duty tow truck next. Um, Again, increase of just under 6% in the EU and just over 6% in the UK. Next, we've got the Ferrari 488 GTE, 11% uh, increase in the EU and 6% increase in the UK. And then we've got the McLaren Formula 1. I'm not sure about the EU pricing for this one, but there's definitely been an increase. Uh, I think the old price was 170 euros, not 100% sure. But it's a 17% increase, so if that's the case, but in the EUK it's an increase of 6.25%. So that's the entire list that we've uh, been going through. Uh, it's approximately 130 sets. Let us know if there was any clear mistakes or if you've seen any sets that have been missed off the list. Um, be very interesting to know that. Um, going forward, it's important that uh, we're going to be keeping an eye on all the Lego deals. That's going to be the interesting part now. This is likely going to affect sales with, you know, the cost of living crisis all around the world. Is Lego going to have to do more promotions, more deals? Time will tell, but uh, this is the place to find out. Make sure you join our Discord as well, completely free. You can keep up to date with all the latest deals that we find and obviously tune in every Friday for our Friday Lego deals. But yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.